Okay, as you can hear, it is raining again. I did not have phone service at this campsite, so I knew it was supposed to rain at some point today, but I didn't realize it was supposed to rain this early. Um, it is 7.05 right now, and I'm just finishing up, packing up my tent, and my plan today is going to be at this point, um, in about 14 miles, there is a shelter. Um, so my plan at this point is to just get to that shelter um, and reevaluate from there. If it's still raining and if the forecast continues to show rain, I'll probably just stay there. But if it's a nice day, I might push on a little bit more. So we'll see. These rainy days are tough for me. It's tough to like pack up a wet tent. It's tough when you're hiking in the rain for hours. Um, these are like mentally exhausting days for me, um, but we'll see. Hopefully, I don't remember when I did have service, I don't remember them saying that we were going to have tons and tons of rain, so hopefully that is the case. Um, we'll see. Hopefully I also get service pretty soon so that I can kind of get the latest info. I'm out on trail and it's really not raining that bad right now. It's just kind of a sprinkle. If it stays like this, this won't be bad at all. We'll see what happens. So the rain has basically come to a stop. I think all that's coming down now is from the trees. So that was a nice surprise. I'm only half a mile in for the day. And it's nice that it's not raining at the moment. I just checked and I still don't have phone service. So I don't know what the forecast is for the rest of the day, but hopefully no more rain, we'll see. Um, so today I am climbing up to Mount Rogers. And this is the highest peak in the entire state of Virginia. And it's over 5,000 foot, 5,400 maybe, I'm not completely sure. Um, All right, so there was a hiker behind me earlier. So I cut off, but um, I'm climbing Mount Rogers today. That is the highest peak in Virginia. I will not be going all the way to the summit though because that's half a mile off of the trail. Um, but one thing that's really exciting about today is I think this is the last time I'm going to be over 5,000 foot elevation until either Vermont or New Hampshire. I think New Hampshire. So that's really exciting. Um, after this, I still have lots of climbing and ups and downs, but nothing over 5,000 feet for a like probably a thousand miles or more. So it's an interesting milestone, but I'm looking forward to it. The sun is out, the birds are out. It's turning out to be a really nice morning.
Oh my gosh, so this place is known for having wild horses and ponies. And through the woods, I can see a wild horse. I just heard it like, I don't know, like snorting almost. Um, but there's no way that I'm going to be able to show you guys on camera. But if I can see a wild horse later, I will for sure try to capture it. All right, I wasn't able to get a picture or video of the horse. I barely saw it. It was through some, a lot of pine trees. Um, but I definitely could see like the body of the horse, but there was no way to actually capture it. But it gives me hope that I might see more later. phone service again and I was able to check on the weather and it looks like there's a chance for rain again this afternoon um, and then again this evening but nothing seems to be too concerning um, the chance for this afternoon is like 30 percent I'm not sure the chances for this evening but it's not supposed to rain any later than like 9 p.m. I think. So it should be fine. Um, so it's turning out to be a really beautiful day. It's definitely humid. Um, so that's all right. Uh, so I kind of broke up today when I looked at the map into three climbs. Um, the first climb I've already completed, it was pretty short. And I'm working on the second climb right now, which looked to be about a five mile climb and definitely looked to be the hardest climb of the day. And then there's a downhill after that and then a third climb to the shelter that I'm shooting for. Um, so I'm almost done now with the second climb. I have about well, it looks like a mile to like one peak and then it goes down a little and goes back up a little. So I think it's about two miles until I get to the part where it's like a big downhill. So um, I'm loving how green it is out here. You can really tell that spring's coming. So it's going all right. This climb hasn't been ridiculous. It's not super steep. Um, there are a lot of rocks and stuff, but it's not bothering me so much today. So all in all, it's been really good. These are some of the rocks that I was saying. So the rocks are almost kind of like steps in places. So it's not hurting my feet too bad. Actually, it's not hurting them at all right now. I was just hiking up, not looking around me, just focusing on going up. And a second ago, I turned around, <laughs> which I'll do right now, and I saw this gorgeous view that I nearly missed because I wasn't taking a moment to actually look around me. So I think the view will be even better when I get to the top there. So glad it's not raining right now. It is so beautiful up here.
All right, it's just after 3 p.m. and I have a little over two miles left to hike for the day. Um, I'm working on climb three of three and it's been all right. A lot of ups, but gradual, a lot of switchbacks. So that's not too bad. What a good day. Seeing the wild ponies was awesome. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be in the Grayson Highlands and more wild ponies are supposed to be there. Um, that was so exciting today to see them. So I'm tenting tonight. I just finished eating my dinner. Um, no more rain. We've had a couple sprinkles but there are some dark clouds over there. So we might get some rain tonight but um, it's only supposed to maybe rain till like 9 or 10 p.m. or something like that and then um, no rain at all tomorrow so that will be good so I'm gonna finish getting my tent site um, all set up for bed and I'll see you later have a good night